What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Cyrus Obsidian. We're not here in our normal studio, as we are out on vacation, but we are still here to bring you content. So, sorry that the videos have been delayed. It's completely out of my control, so. But today, we're going to be heading to locals here, and where I'm visiting my in-laws in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're going to be heading over to Duke City Games. I have been here a couple times before. Um... I played Mathmec, or not Mathmec, but Adagister last time I was around. And so we're here to take our new profile to the test. Um, we won't be playing Mathmec or Adagister. We're going to be a little bit out of our norm. We're actually going to be playing Rescue Ace. So you better call the fire department because we're going to be heading over soon to put out some flames. But before we go, let's show you the deck profile. Then let's head on over. All right, so things are looking a bit different with our improvised studio, but let's show you our profile. So today we are going to be playing Rescue Ace, and we start with two Hydrant. Um, this would be at three, but I have unfortunately not gotten a third. So we are substituting the third for a Heat of the Fire Channeler, which I think has some mad potential for fire decks here, um, Rescue Ace or Salmon Great. I'll be able to discard it and one other fire monster. You can discard Ash for all you care and you can search out any of the rescue aces that get you into a combo going, but it's kind of my substitute. So playing two of those and we play two turbulences is he's really the one you want to get to to be able to set up more of your interruptions on your opponent's turn. And then we play two preventer, which I think it's really solid in the deck being able to just book a moon something as long as you control the rescue ways. And then it's effective if it's sent from field to grave, or sorry, if it's sent to the graveyard. You can throw it when you're banished rescue ways, so it's not level 8, it's pretty much just not itself. And special back, which is really great. Next, for some, we play one fire engine and one fire attacker as uh, just really draw power and then being able to put up another rescue ways monster on your board, it's level 4 or lower can come up but again this is all theoretical at this point then we play two impulse one monitor uh, impulse really just to get that negate on your own turn but also its other ability when you're going to activate the monster back on the field tribute special summon a rescue ace monster from your deck which is really good especially when you want to get into any of the machines like preventer or the fire engine uh, next you get the rescue ace monitor let's just search out a trap but again, they all have that same contingency effect of being able to tribute themselves and then special rescue ace either from hand, field, hand, graveyard, or deck. Then last, we play three preventer. A preventer is really like our combo starter. Pretty much just normal summon this, and you can search into any rescue ace spells, which you want to search typically your emergency, which is the bread and butter of this deck. You know, search emergency off of the airlifter, then go emergency, special hydrant, and tribute the fire attacker. Or, sorry, the airlifter. And then you can just combo off from there. And then we play two alert. Uh, I decided to play two alert, one rescue. Um, just because I like having that search, be able to get into those rescue based monsters when I have the hydrant, and then rescue is really just the monster born. Um, only ever comes up on my opponent's turn, really, occasionally on my own turn. But then we play the one HQ. You really don't need to play more than one HQ. Um, it's just good to shuffle back to your rescue ace monsters. Anyways, um, you only ever play it on your turn. So I mean, especially when you go first, you always hold on to this if you have full combo. Search it, just have it. There's no need to play it because you want to activate it. On on the following turn, assuming you put up enough interruptions for your opponent, and then you go into the draw four. Then as for the traps, we just play one extinguish, one contain, and then one reinforce. I like to play the reinforce just as a boost in attack when closing games. Um, also being able to like just banish it to set a rescue ace. Spell from your graveyard comes in handy. And then yeah, extinguish and contain are pretty explanatory for the deck. And moving on to some just power spells, we play one Rota, one Call by one one for one because you really want to get into your Hydrant Airlifter, and you really don't want to be hand trapped. So like hitting the Droll, hitting the Ash, Baylor, whatever. Then as for our hand traps, so this is very negotiable. So we play the Triple Mid, and then Triple Droll. 
because it rolls really great this format as any deck is surging in nib. A lot of people aren't respecting the nib, so I mean, just punish them. And then we play the Triple Ash and Triple Valor. Now this would be Imperm instead, but I personally like the Valor. Just because of the discard for one for one, if you have open two Valors and you don't need two Valors, you just discard one. So I mean, it is what it is. So those are the hand traps. That's it for the main board. Now if we look at our extra deck, this is a whole bunch of one of so we'll just go through it real fast. We play the one animal and one Ling Rebo. Uh, really just to turbo out the, or if you get out the Hydrant, just to get rid of the Hydrant. Ling Rebo is explanatory. Anima, just get rid of those monsters that are annoying you. We play one IP, one Esold, one Nightmare Cerberus, one Almer, or Sunlight Wolf, one Heated Charmer the Fire Blaze, and then one Nightmare Phoenix for your Link 2s. Um, really, these are just utility plays. I hardly ever go into Esold. IP, really, if you can, set up under a really great board. Heated just for Recursion, Sunlight Wolf for Recursion, Phoenix and Service for just to get rid of problematic cards. So, yeah, I think that's what pretty much excels explanatory. And then for Link 3s, we play one Unicorn, one BLS. Um, BLS is just because you do get three different names on the board, and I mean, you know, to just spot removal and make a second attack. Unicorn again for the just spot removal. Link 4s, we play Apollosa, Axis Code, the Avermax, and the Boral Sword. Because I mean, if you play against Cash, they look at your extra deck, they're really not going to know what you're playing. So, I mean, they'll probably want to go for the Axis Code to get rid of it, get rid of the Apollosa, or whatever. And again, you really don't need to use your extra deck for this deck. It is more of a utility, so you just are really just throwing out our point through loop with all of these. And then the last is the Thunderbolt Goddess. Because spot removal again. If you get rid of some of the problematic cards of your opponent, just link it off in the other world. And then as for our side deck, we play the Triple Ghost Bell and then Triple Ghost Mourner. I think these are really great hand traps right now in the format, being able to hit certain decks. Like this hits a Cash Tier really well. This doesn't hit Cash Tier, but I mean, it hits all those graveyard reliant decks like Branded. So yeah, I mean, they're just really good overall. And then for others, we play two Lightning Storm and the one deck lockdown. Um, this is just kind of a filler card. I couldn't figure out what to fill in its place. So we just threw in deck lockdown because I had it in the binder. Um, but it's pretty much just another draw, Lightning Storm to get rid of the back row. And then just more back row removal with double cosmic, the one duster. Because you can never have enough. And then as for our board breaker, we play triple dark row no more. Those are our last slots. But yeah, that is it for the profile. So let us head over to our visiting locals and see how well we can do at Rescue Ace for the first time. What is up, Obsidian Gamers? Here we are at. So if you just take a look, we've got like all sorts of different things going on right now. Uh, we're stationed here uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Round one, I play against Unchained. And game one, I, I was able to control the tempo, which was really great. Games two and three, I brick so hard. Now I see why people play Prada Prosperity in the day. Uh, again, sorry for the audio, if it's being a little rough and don't have my mic on me. So we're using a new mic today. Um, we'll see how that works. Um, but yeah, so we're 01, <laughs> X1 right now, I guess. Or 01, yeah, that's the right term. So we'll see what we have in round two. Uh, looks like we've got 14 players, so we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, so round two just ended. Uh, played against Dino. So we know that I've played Dino before. Uh, so playing rest case, round one literally went to like Oh gosh, we had 18 minutes left in the round, and yeah, we game one I won, so I mean, put up a good fight. And then game two, honestly, Rescue Ace is pretty great. We know to play in your opponent's turn. If you feel like you want to play tier, I think Rescue Ace is a good substitute. But I mean, it is pricey, so you pick your poison. Uh, but I was playing on my opponent's turn. I was able to set up some board, and then. We came to my ground, was <laughs> able to put up a board, broke it a little bit, and then we kind of went back and forth before we, I was able to swing for game. 
So yeah, took that, so we're 1-1 one, one right now. And we're just waiting for, oh, round time is called. So I guess we'll see where we go round three. Two, we got two more rounds, round three, round four. So let's see what we do, guys. All right, so my round three went so fast. I lost, hardcore. Uh, played against Labyrinth, and yeah, being eradicated sucks. And playing in draw phase, uh, yeah. I also didn't open up the greatest either. And I made some poor plays, so that's on me. Um, I went 0-2, so we're 1-2 right now. Uh, we've got 25 minutes left in time, so we'll see what happens there. Um, maybe we can go 2-2 with Rescue Ace. I guess we'll find out. But so far, uh, the deck is underperforming from what I thought it would. So in some areas, it, it does great. Just in others, it's bad hands. Um, I, I see where Pot of Prosperity might come in. I might throw extravagance back just until I can get prosperities, I guess. But oh well. well stay tuned, guys. We'll see how we can do in round four. All right. So, in the tournament, round four, uh, playing against Sky Striker, and I was confident I could take this one. Game one, I took the win. Nibiru caught him off guard. <laughs> like, yes. Game two and three. So, game three, he beat me in time. Just barely enough life points to kill me, or knock me below him, but still won in time, and so I ended up taking 11th. A couple people had dropped, so it turned out to be 11 to 12. Um, Rescue Ace didn't perform quite as I wanted it to, but, you know, learning some things, you know, I definitely need the third hydrant. Um, something like Prosperity or Extravagance for draw power. Um, prosperity definitely preferred, but I'll, I'll take Extravagance since that's what I got. Other than that, that's it for today. So we ended up taking 11th out of 12. Just got the 1 OTS pack. Uh, apparently they do things a little different, but whatever. So didn't do anything good, didn't good. Got some good trades though, so I'm excited to try those out for Mathematic, mainly, and the Teller Knights. So stay tuned, you guys. We'll have more content coming your way. And again, apologize for having these videos be late. Um, but if you like the stuff that you're watching, like and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. I'm hoping to post there more often. But we'll catch you in the next one, Duelist.